news. Buhari accused of nepotism as he replaces five northern heads of institutions with northerners. Nigerians came all out to show their dissatisfaction on the recent appointment made by President Muhammadu Buhari amid the rising tensions caused by tribalism in the country. There have been calls for the president to normalize the appointment, the appointment process, as the South Sanans have perceived the seemingly, seemingly pop sided appointment, which tend to tie it to the North. Taking a look at the recent appointment, FIRS boss Tunde Fola replaced with Mohamed Nami. Many Nigerians have reacted negatively following the news that President Mohamedou Buhari has decided not to reappoint Baba Tunde Fola as the executive chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The FMR DG Baba Tunde Fola's first term in office was completed recently following his appointment in 2015. After doing a good job in the FIRS, there was a feeling that he would be reappointed, but instead he was asked to move on while NAMI was appointed in his stage. The debate on social media has mostly been centered on why Babasunde Fola's appointment was not renewed. Those in support of this reappointment bid urge that he performed exceptionally during his first tunnel and deserved to be reappointed. There was an argument about the capacity and competence of his successors who pundits felt was who pundit first was of a lesser qualification and not fit for the position. Fola is from Lagos State, while Nami is from Niger Delta, Niger State. The second person that was appointed and replaced is Azuka Inzige. Step aside, Babakula Gamba appointed as new Secretariat General of Corporate Affairs Commission. In January 2020, President Mohamedou Buhari had approved the appointment of Abubakar Gamba as the new Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission. The appointment of the new Registrar General came almost two weeks after the former Registrar General, Lady Azuka Azinge, was directed to step aside. She faced an an uh, investigative panel where she was accused of false declaration of assets. December 23, 2019, the FMR Register General was arranged before the Code of Conduct Tribunal on an 11 counts charge of false declaration of assets. She was also accused of receiving unauthorized allowances while in office. Mr. Gaba hailed from Bauchi State, which the FRDG is from Anambra State. The third person is Nimasa DG, Dankuku Peter Said, replaced with Basi Jamon in March 2020. President Mohamedou Buhari had approved the appointment of Basi Jamo as the, doc, as the Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. Jamo replaced, replaced Dakuku Peter Said, who was appointed in 2016. He head the Maritime Agency. Peter Said tenor as NIMASADG ended on March 10, 2020, and his supporters were looking out for his reappointment, but that was not 
to be so. Since he was a close friend of the transport minister, Amechi, ordinarily it would have been a free pass for him, but Buhari put a surprising one in the reverse camp as a new DG was announced. The newly appointed DG, Basi Jamon, was a former executive director for admin and finance at NIMASA, Jamon aide from Kaduna, while Dakuku, Pas Peterside, is from River States. The fourth person is Secretary and Exchange, Mini Exchange Commission, DG Mary Udak, replaced with Lamidu Yag Yaguda on May 2020. President Mondo Buari has written to the Nigerian Se Senate to confirm a former director as, as, the, as the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Lamidu Yaguda, as the Director General of Security and Exchange Commission. Lamido replaced the former acting DG, Mary Uduk, who has been acting in that capacity since April 2018. Since the controversial sack of the former Director General, Momo Guazu, in November 2017 by the then Minister of Finance, Kemi Adeoshu, there have been controversies surrounding the office of the DJ and the tenor of the acting DJ. This appointment, however, ended the controversy surrounding that office and also ended the tenor of Mary Oduk. The fourth person, fifth person is Buhari Sat, is the Neko Registrar, Charles Uagwe, appoints Abubaka Ghana. On May 2020, President Momodou Buhari has come under attack over the sack of the Registrar of NECO, National Examination Council, Prof. Charles Owakwe. The NECO Registrar was fired on Wednesday for fraudulent practices and suppression of official records. The sack also extended to four other top management officials of the council who were also indicted on the investigations. Mr. Abubakar Ghana was immediately replaced as the acting registrar. Of course, this did not go down well with some Nigerians who took to their social media pages accusing the president of practicing nepotism. They lamented the replacement of the registrar with a northerner. Ghana is from Nasarawa State. Listen to one or two comments from Nigerians. Some said that, one said that, now you can understand why some people are clamoring for Buhari. It's becoming clearer now. Another one says, if Governor Wike did this, we will call for his head. Yeah, yeah, they smell. Another one says, one day we will be free from this tribalist tyrants. This tenor shall pass, but then our youth will still not learn from this. A lot of people support Buhari and they are suffering in this country. They voted for him and they are suffering as well. And they don't know that their suffering will last for three years. After the, after the tenor of President Mon Buari, the suffering we had. Another one says, We in the Igbo are used to the nepot, nepotist, nepotistic life of Buhari. Reason why we aren't complaining again. But Buhari is a disaster any day, any time. Another one says that Buhari appoints incompetent people like him who are not productive. That is why we are where we are today. Keep appointing Awusa Fulani, Fulanis. You will leave office one day. You think you, we are fools? We are not fools, but you are the greatest fool. 
see what Nigerian comments. Look at what they commented. They are, they are not in support of President Momo Dubari reappointing people. They are pointing, removing um, the southerners to replace the northerners. This is bad. So, viewers, what would you have to say concerning this? Your comment is much needed. Drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. Thank you.